Let me tell you the quick story about how Where's My Water came to be and how Swampy is basically Jelly Car plus Omnom. Hi, I'm Wallaber, and when I worked at Disney, my development team back in 2011 had just finished Jelly Car 3. And Jelly Car series had been a pretty successful App Store game, but at the time, Angry Birds, Cut the Rope, Fruit Ninja were at the top of the charts. And our leadership said, hey, you guys know how to make good physics-based games. In fact, your games are physics-based, level-based, three-star progression games, just like Angry Birds and Cut the Rope. Look at those games and see if you can learn something from them. And we looked at them and we compared them to Jelly Car and we decided there were two big factors that were different. Number one was character. Angry Birds and Cut the Rope had characters you had an emotional connection to. And Jelly Car, not so much. Also, controls. Jelly Car was a little bit like a console style game trying to fit on a mobile device, whereas Angry Birds and Cut the Rope had very intuitive and natural touchscreen controls. We solved the controls thing pretty quick because we came up with an idea for a fluid physics based game where you just drag your finger and cut the dirt to guide water from point A to point B. We even made a prototype to make sure that we could make interesting puzzles that would fit on a small touchscreen, and we were really encouraged by this prototype. But then came the big problem of a character. Our initial thought was, well, you're kind of underground, you're cutting away dirt, what's underground that you take water to? It should be seeds. So you'll water these seeds and mm, they're magic seeds. There'll be a monster that comes out, comes to life or something. But as we continued development, it became pretty clear that that was not a very good way to get a character into the game. And so we went back to the drawing board and said, okay, we need a character who needs water. What kind of situation would there be where you need some water? The obvious choice is a thirsty character who wants a drink, but the problem is as a level you needed a certain number of drops to fill up a container in order to know you complete the level. And so if the container was big enough that you could actually see it fill, compared to the character, the scale just wouldn't work. So based on scale, if we can actually see the character but the container is big enough that you can visibly also see it fill, that would have to be a big container like a bathtub or something. That doesn't make any sense. Who wants to take a bath underground? Speaking of which, who even lives underground? Well, there is that urban myth that in big cities and the sewers underneath, there's like alligators that live there. Alligators are dirty. That's kind of funny. You could have an alligator that wants to take a bath. And there you have it. Swampy was born. Not because we wanted to make an alligator who liked to be clean and take showers, but because our gameplay demanded it. Anyway, if you want to know more about how this game came together, maybe I can make a longer video with some members from the team. Let me know in the comments if you're interested. Thanks.